Doctor No or you only live twice? Say, you only live twice. From Russia with Love or Casino Royale? Casino Royale. Thunderball or Honor Majesty's Secret Service? Or Her Majesty's Secret Service. Spectre or Octopussy? Octopussy. The Living Daylights or A View to a Kill? A View to a Kill. Be Your Eyes Only or Quantum of Solace? Or Your Eyes Only. Definitely. <clears throat> the World Is Not Enough or Goldfinger? Goldfinger. You Only Live Twice or Casino Royale? Casino Royale. Why, why does that get the nod over You Only Live Twice? Just because Casino Royale is possibly the best Bond film. You Only Live Twice is brilliant, but it's not the best film for me. Okay, On a Majesty's Secret Service or Octopussy? On a Majesty's Secret Service. Why not Octopussy? Because On a Majesty's Secret Service is just a great film that's aged very well over the years and is more like, more appreciated now. So that's why I would go for that over Octopussy. Octopussy is a good film, but it's nowhere near as good as On a Majesty's. Okay, well, a Roger Moore fight here. A View to a Kill or Fear Eyes Only? A View to a Kill. I disagree with you there. Okay, so... Um, Casino Royale or oh, this is a real battle of the titans isn't it Casino Royale mm-hmm. or Honor Majesty's Secret Service Casino Royale that's a tough one That's maybe, I think for me yes. those are maybe my two favourites that would be mm-hmm. that would be a tough one uh, well I'm, gl- I'm glad you're picking okay Casino Royale it is mm-hmm. okay and a view to a kill or Goldfinger Goldfinger although they're quite similar in some ways like the subject. They are, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm, they are. Mm. Um, and the semi-final on this side of the, the board, Casino Royale or Goldfinger? Casino Royale. But Goldfinger's an excellent film. Alrighty. So Casino Royale gets into the final, so we'll go over to the other side and we have Pierce Brosnan versus Roger Moore. Live and Let Die versus Tomorrow Never Dies. Live and Let Die. I think uh, Tomorrow Never Dies is my favourite Brosnan one. Are uh, you going Live and Let Die? Brilliant poster, yes. isn't it? There's, yeah. Brilliant poster. Okay, uh, and a very similar poster for The Man with the Golden Gun versus Licence to Kill, Timothy Dalton's second and final Bond instalment. Licence to Kill. Brilliant film. Death film. Uh, well, t- talking of brilliant films, we've got Spy Who Loved Me, Roger Moore, 1977, versus 2002's Die Another Day with Piers Brosnan. No, no contest. No, no contest. Spy Who Loved Me. Alrighty. No Time to Die, the final Daniel Craig Bond, versus 2012's Skyfall. Skyfall. Yeah, all day, every day. Mm-hmm. And we have 1979's Moonraker, Roger Moore goes into space, uh, versus um, Pierce Brosnan's 1995 debut, Goldeneye. I would say both very good films, but I would say Moonraker. That's a tough one, isn't it? Mm. What are you going for? Oh, Moon, Moon. Moonraker. Okay. Oh, alrighty. So uh, for this one, we're, well, we're taking into account the unofficial Bond movies. So we've got Sean Connery's Return in '83 with Never Say Never Again versus what was meant to be his. <laughs> well, he came back kind of three different. Turn. Oh, two different times didn't he so he came back in 1981 mm. for Diamonds Are Forever and he came back again in 1983 for Never Say Never Again uh, which do you prefer? Diamonds Are Forever yeah that's it's uh, okay it's film. moving on then. I like it but I know it's not one that's uh, universal uh, Live and Let Die versus License to Kill Oof, that's a tough battle oh this is the hardest one yet License to Kill License to Kill okay by Who Love Me versus Skyfall. Two of the biggest bonds of all time here. Adjusted for inflation. The Spy Who Loved Me. Okay. Uh, Moonraker versus Diamonds Are Forever. 
Moonraker. License to Kill versus The Spy Who Loved Me. Mm, yeah. License to Kill. Okay. Um, so License to Kill versus Moonraker. Moonraker. Are you going gritty? Are you going gritty 1989 thriller or space age bond? You're going Moonraker, okay. Yeah. Which brings us to the final. So, Daniel Craig's debut, Casino Royale, or Roger Moore's fourth movie, Moonraker. I'm going to go with Casino Royale. Casino Royale is your winner. You went through all the Bond movies and Casino Royale reigns triumphant. 